September 5th, 1977. Scientists, engineers, and mathematicians from NASA's Kennedy Space Center, along with thousands of others from around the globe, watch as Voyager 1 leaves Earth's orbit for its eternal journey. On board the probe is the Golden Record, an archive chronicling human civilization. With a selection of our history, our sciences, and our culture, a snapshot of who we are is carried by our silent ambassador on its mission to the stars. For over 40 years, Voyager 1 has traveled alone into the farthest reaches of our solar system. Built from the combination of ingenuity, dedication, passion, and curiosity, it provides us with a symbol of how far we've come. An interstellar species from a pale blue dot seen behind the rainbow of an infinite horizon. History is the science of culture, and today we live in a world of unparalleled scientific advancement. After barely a century since the Wright brothers first left the ground, humanity was able to stretch out its hands to interstellar space. But how? And why? Centuries ago, in 1660, the Royal Society of London for Improving Natural Knowledge was founded under the motto, Nullius and Verba. The society states that this motto is an expression of the determination of fellows to withstand the domination of authority and to verify all statements by an appeal to facts determined by experiment. These first fellows, who identified themselves not as scientists but as natural philosophers, inadvertently changed the pace of humanity. To believe in fact rather than authority was a notion that would eventually evolve into our modern conceptions of the scientific method. Pioneers like Galileo Galilei challenged those around him to seek their own methods of discerning truth from the laws of nature. In an essay he sent to his benefactor, the Grand Duchess Christina of Florence, he remarked that nature is inexorable and immutable. She never transgresses the laws imposed upon her, or cares a whit whether her abstruse reasons and methods of operation are understandable to men. Galileo's methodology for controlled experiments would form the basis of a philosophy that challenged authority. Through the rigorous tests he performed with the telescopic apparatus that brought him fame, the Florentine astronomer rebelled against geocentrism in favor of the ideas postulated by Nicholas Copernicus, that the Earth, for all its wondrous mystery, is not the center of our universe. Galileo's stoic defense of Copernican heliocentrism would come at the expense of his own freedom, and yet he continued on in his relentless pursuit of knowledge, a dedication that would earn him a posthumous title as the father of modern science. Galileo's contributions would go on to inspire countless generations of knowledge seekers, whose process of testing and measuring a hypothesis would garner them the title of scientist. Coined by the polymath William Hewell in 1830, modern-day scientists continue to push humanity into the future to make what was once impossible a reality. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. I guess one of the reasons uh, we got here today was because of a gentleman named Galileo a long time ago, and we thought that uh, where would be a better place to confirm his uh, findings than on the moon. Through a relentless tenacity birthed from the amalgamation of curiosity and dedication, Scientists with their codes of practice have established themselves as more than just the craftsmen of new technologies, but as the forerunners of our very future. <laughs>